Hello everybody! Today I would like to show you how I airbrush my flowers with my Copics and my airbrush. I start with these colors. It's R85, R83 and E43. Okay. I also use some Spica glitter pens. Um, pink, sand and gold. I'm not sure which one I would like to use, so I don't think I use them all. Okay. Um, I also use some glue dose, and uh, it's very nice to have those things when you airbrush, because when you need your both hands, you cannot hold the flower in place. So then it's very handy when you can put a, a glue dough on your mat and put the flower on it then you have two hands you can use so that's just a hint first of all I'm going to color the whole flower in just one color um, I'm going to use for that the R83 um, if you have the airbrush like so you have to put the Copic in it like this. When you hear a click, this is the right position. You have to go with the air. Okay. Then you have on top of it, you have a button. You can push. When you push it all the way down, it goes very hard. When you push it a little bit down, it will airbrush a little bit slower. Okay. Right now I'm going to color the whole flower in one color. I hope you can see it right. See? Okay. Then I take a darker color. That's the R85. Again, put it in and listen. Click. I want to spray the outside of the flowers a little bit darker. So I hold it in place. Okay? I start to airbrush from the outside to the inside, like this. So I start beside the flower. Yeah? I spray on my sheet and then I go to the flower. Okay, I put it a little bit closer. If you put your um your airbrush right on the flower and you start to spray, the whole flower will get dark. So that is why I'm going from the outside to the inside. Okay, now we're going to use our glue dose. And I'm going to use the Spica pens. I would like to say one thing about that. Um, the Spica pens uh, are not uh, made to use them like I'm going to do right now. I'm going to spray with the airbrush on uh, the tip of the pen and uh, well it can damage your speaker pen. I don't have one damaged yet but I think I um, it's it's better I say that it could be damaged and then it's your own responsibility because they're not made for the airbrush. I put a glue dough on my uh, on my mat. Okay, then I put the flower on it. Okay, now it's sticky, so it won't go away. I take some uh, Etch Speaker Gold. Okay, and what I'm going to do now, I blow the air beside the nip. 
then the spica will flow out on the flower and you get a beautiful glittery result. Okay, I do it like this. A little bit here too. Well, the result is like, oh, it's really, really, really a beautiful glitter. Well, it's not just glitter, it's pika. Okay, well, I have more flowers. I'm going to airbrush. And the result I will uh, photograph and I will put it uh, also... Uh, with this YouTube. I hope you liked what I showed you.